Jordan, thanks for having me back in. Let's get straight into it again. First question, what are the main applications of hydrogen? Yeah, so the main applications are found within industry and transportation. So industry, replacing fossil fuels in industrial processes such as producing cement and, and glass, providing a clean energy source for that process. And in the mobility sector, hydrogen can be used in conjunction with battery technology, or it can be used to supply fuel to a hydrogen combustion engine to create energy for the vehicle, helping to decarbonise those hard to electrify areas of transportation. Think heavy good vehicles, construction and aviation. And so hydrogen is a great solution for this sector, where weight, stored energy, refuelling times and accessibility to hydrogen is a contributing factor. And so an example of collaboration between hydrogen technology and battery technology, we can look at the heavy goods sector. Heavy good vehicles do long journeys and to do those long journeys off battery, they need a lot of onboard energy storage and that weighs quite a lot from batteries alone. So by introducing a hydrogen system, we can reduce the size of those batteries or the numbers of those batteries and have a fuel cell on board which uses hydrogen gas, a much lighter system than the batteries to recharge the batteries as the vehicle is driving. And again, similar to the construction sector, these vehicles can then be refueled in minutes rather than hours. So the drivers aren't waiting around at a truck stop for four hours before they can do the journey home. So what does a hydrogen fuel cell system look like? So when we look at a hydrogen fuel cell system, it makes sense to start looking at where the hydrogen gas comes from. On a fuel cell system, the gas is stored in high pressure cylinders, hydrogen cylinders, which stores the gas at 350 bar or 700 bar. Then we have a pressure regulator, which takes the gas from 350 bar, 700 bar, and reduces it down to a workable pressure for the fuel cell. The fuel cell on the vehicle can be positioned anywhere. It could be in the boot, it could be in the bonnet, it could be between chassis rails, it could even be behind the cab of a truck or even on the roof if you wanted to. So the fuel cell will take the hydrogen gas that has been supplied from the cylinders by the pressure regulator to a workable pressure. It will take air from outside and it will take the two to create electricity where the only byproduct is water. Then the fuel cell system will also have batteries, it'll have an electrical motor and it'll have a distribution box. The distribution box takes the electricity produced from the fuel cell and it'll distribute it to either the batteries to recharge them or directly to the electrical motor to power the vehicle depending on what that vehicle is doing at that time. If there is a high power demand all the electrical power will go to the uh, electric motors and if it's in an idle state or a cruising state it will recharge the batteries. And how does that compare to a hydrogen engine system? So the hydrogen internal combustion engine or hydrogen ice does have some similarities to that of a hydrogen fuel cell system, but only in the way that we store the gas, which again is in high pressure cylinders, either 350 bar or 700 bar on the vehicle. And then we have a regulator which takes a high pressure and reduces that to a workable pressure for whatever the application may be. And in this instance, it's an internal combustion engine like what we use day to day with petrol or diesel, except rather than delivering a fossil fuel, instead we're delivering a clean and sustainable fuel that is hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas is then injected into the engine, either directly or indirectly. It is mixed with the air. This is ignited, causes a combustion, and in turn creates power. And then that power is distributed via the transmission to the wheels. So where do pressure tech fit within the hydrogen market? At pressure tech, we have heavily invested in obtaining hydrogen certification, upskilling our people and our manufacturing capabilities so that we are always able to deliver a high quality hydrogen solution for our customers. And this is because we believe that hydrogen will play a bigger part in decarbonising our industrial and transportation sectors, not only here in the UK, but Europe and globally. Jordan, I really appreciate your time, thank you. It's been great learning about hydrogen and its many applications. Yeah, thanks, Peter. Really, really enjoyed it. Cheers. Thanks. thanks thank you. Cheers.